and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sonia and I'd love it if you could subscribe. And if you're already an existing subscriber, welcome back. So I am using my ring light today. You might be able to see it a little bit in my tiles in my back because it has not been a very nice day here and I just needed a little bit of light because it was just looking, the lighting wasn't looking great. Um, so hopefully there's not going to be too many things that are reflecting off it i try not to use my ring light now because i like to try and film with natural lighting where i can but unfortunately today i can't so today's video is going to be my update for my project pan the way that i do my project pan is i usually bring in my older products in my collection and i try to work through them the goals that i set on these products are usually quite ambitious but I think what I'm going to be doing with this project is I'm just going to be continuing on with it like every year. So rather than finishing in December, I'm just going to continue on and just try and finish the products. So without further ado, I'm just going to jump straight into it. This month I can roll one item out. I'm surprised at that actually because I haven't particularly done very well this month for my project panels just because I haven't worn that much makeup. I There's just been other things in the month of April I've just been more of a priority and I just haven't had a chance to put makeup on. To be fair, April was quite a challenging month for me so I'm hoping May is going to be a little bit kinder to me and allows me to just relax a little bit more if I can. Um, so yeah, I have still made some progress on a lot of items but I maybe haven't made as much progress as much as I would like. But anyway, I'm rambling. Let's get into the update. So the one item I can roll out is the item I have in this project to hit pan. I think this might be the only thing to hit pan. Um, it is my Makeup Revolution Renaissance Glow Palette. And I brought in the highlighter to hit pan on. And as you can see, I have pan. I thought last month I was close, but it's only been in the last week that I've hit pan on this. This is a very, very deep pan, so me finishing this is going to be a challenge. <laughs> For this update, I used it five times to hit pan, and in this project, I've used it a total of 30 times. Now, it, ha it was used before I brought it into this project, so it didn't take me 30 uses to hit pan, um, but I don't think it was that used, it was just used a little bit. Um, but yeah, really, really happy that I can roll one item out and I have another pan in a highlighter. I've just realised as well, that I haven't brought another product down, so at the end I'm gonna have to go and get one. <laughs> I'm filming in my living room. I just wanted a bit of change of scenery. I might just keep kind of chopping and changing, maybe sometimes filming in my living room, sometimes in my office. Um, it's a lot easier in my office because all of my makeup is there, but I'm just really liking this little bit of change for a bit. Okay, can you tell I'm a bit rambly today? Yeah, I just want to chat to you guys. <laughs> okay, so, now let's talk about the products that I have been working on over the last month. First one is my NYX Born to Glow Concealer. I thought I was going to have this done this update. This is still going. I do think I'm close. I keep saying that though. I keep thinking I'm close and then just more product comes out. Um, but when I'm squeezing it now, I really am at the lit, like the last little bit. There was a air bubble in here as well. So I do think I've made pretty good progress. It's always been pretty much at the bottom there though. <laughs> I've used this seven times this update for a total of 45 uses in this project. I'm really hoping that this is going to be an empty for next month, but who knows. I'm working on another concealer as well in my deck of panning, so that isn't getting my main focus, but it is getting used every other day. The next one I have is my NARS Orgasm Blush. So on the screen, I'll put a picture of what it looked like last update and then a picture of what it looks like this update. I'm of course gonna show you as well. So this is where I'm at. I do think I've made progress. This is just gonna be a very, very slow and steady item. This is gonna be in for a while, which I kind of mentally prepared myself for that anyway, but it will be amazing to finish a blush. I've never finished a blush ever. I have got quite a few pans in blushes now which is good but I've never finished a blush so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this year is my year for finishing a blush. I mean there is still quite a lot of product in that though. So I use this seven times this update for a total of 26 uses overall. When I brought it into this project this year, it had like the tiniest little bit of pan. So I'm definitely, definitely making progress and expanding the pan. 
but like I said this is going to be a long haul product. Also you're going to have to excuse the order that these are in. This is just the way that I put them in the spreadsheet and when I add a new one in I just add it to the bottom so yeah it's in a very random order. <laughs> The next one I have is my Ciate Watermelon Bear Setting Spray. I really love this setting spray. I am working on another setting spray now though. How many times can I say setting spray in a sentence? Um, I'm working on another one now in my That's Expensive, so I'm not focused on this one every day, but I'm using it every other day I do my makeup. So this is where I was last update, and now I am here. So I do feel like I'm make, making pretty consistent progress with this. Um, I still think I'm going to have the same amount of progress even with using the other one. Um, this is a really, really nice setting spray. I really do enjoy it. I've used this 13 times this update for a total of 43 uses overall. When I brought it in, it was up here. So I'd only used it a few times to see whether it was something I wanted to bring in. Um, and yeah, absolutely, absolutely love using that. I'm, I'm not sad to be using that. I'm really enjoying it. Next one I have is my YSL lipstick in number 48. This is the Rouge Full Up to Shine formula. Again on the screen I'll put a picture of what it looked like last update and a picture of what it looks like this update. I feel like this one is slowing down in progress now. This is where I'm at. I feel like every time I get to the end of a lipstick it just feels like I'm not getting anywhere. I don't know if it's just me, but I always feel like it just takes forever when I get to like this point to finish a lipstick. <laughs> I've used it 13 times this update for a total of 53 uses overall. This is absolutely going to be finished this year in this project. I just don't know when. Um, it's actually shorter on this side than it is this side. Maybe... I don't know, two to three months and I might have this out. This formula is a very thin formula and it can move around and um, so I do I can reapply this quite often not a massive fan of this formula I would I want to get this finished but I'm not a massive fan also I saw something the other day I'm not sure where maybe Instagram I'm not definitely not on TikTok so I'm not on TikTok and um, it might have been an Instagram reel of a TikTok maybe <laughs> so you can actually take all of this off and this becomes a ring like a YSL ring I'm quite tempted to do that potentially and um, once I've finished this to see whether to see whether it works but I just thought that was really interesting so if I do I'll keep you guys posted on if that works or not <laughs> the next one I have is my elf poreless butty primer so again on the screen I'll put a picture of what it looked like last update and a picture of what it looks like this update um, but this is my progress hopefully you can see that I've definitely expanded the pan on this. I'm also just trying to work around the sides here as well. But I definitely think, and hopefully you can see, that it is getting a bit lower now from the top. I like this product. I think if I wanted a pore filling primer, this would actually be the one I would buy. Um, not expensive at all and yeah, really enjoying using this. So I used it 15 times this update for a total of 28 uses overall. And yeah, I just think this one again is going to take a while. Um, but I don't mind. This is the one project for me on my channel that I'm expecting a lot of these items to take a while because my goals are to finish them. I think I haven't even been saying, but I'm pretty sure everything else that I've brought in to this project is to finish. It is going to take me some time and that's okay. The next one I have is my Fenty Beauty lip gloss in Sweet Mouth. So this was where I was last update and now I am here. Um, I did have to shine a light through this because when you look at it, it looks like I'm still here. But when I, when I did shine a light, I was actually here. And when I take the top off this, I can see through the packaging. So I'm, I'm quite far down on this. I really do love the formula of these Fenty Beauty lip glosses. I have quite a lot of these in my collection. So I'm going to try and work through some of these over the next few years. I've used this one six times this update for a total of 22 uses overall. I haven't used this one that much this update compared to last update. But yeah, hopefully, I mean, to be fair looking at my progress here, this is still going to take me quite a while. But hopefully I will have it done by the end of the year. The next one I have is a W7 It's Glow Prime Radiant Primer and I brought this one in last update I think. 
Yes, yes I did. I've got my laptop here with my numbers. Um, so I brought this one in last update because I thought that this was starting to smell a little bit off. Not completely, like it still had that watermelon scent, but I could tell it was just starting to change. So I wanted to make sure I could finish this before it went off. Um, I forgot to mark it, but when I was squeezing it down, because I can, I can see through the packaging, I think I'm about here on it now, so I was here, now I'm here. I will make sure I will mark this. I marked everything else, but I just forgot to mark this one. So I am making pretty good progress, um, potentially maybe over the next month, I might be able to have this one rolled out. So I've used it six times this update for a total of six uses. I'm working on quite a few primers at the moment, so this one isn't a focus product, but it is one in rotation that I am using. I do like that primer, it's really inexpensive as well and it adds a beautiful glow. But I will say it does smell like watermelon so it is very fragranced. So if you don't like that, I wouldn't recommend that primer but I love watermelon scented things and I love anything that's going to offer a glow. So to me, I really like that product. <laughs> okay, the next thing I have is the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. I haven't used this this update. Um, I rolled this in last month and this is where I'm at. I just am working on quite a lot of foundations at the moment that is quite overwhelming so what I'm doing is I'm just focusing on two and one of them is a usage one of them is to finish and I've just find that that's working for me at the moment so I don't know when I'm going to get around to using this but I will get around to using it eventually just might not be for the next few months I want that wet on my collection because it's just not a favorite foundation so last but no means least last month I brought in the Chloe and Malika palette from Becca and I brought in the bronzer to hip pan now i know that, that might seem a little crazy to some people um but this is getting to be one of my older bronzers in my collection and i want to try and hit pan on a lot of my older bronzers so i can start to work on finishing them over like the next year or so and um, this one's going to take me a while i know i know it is and also this one's i don't know if you're going to be able to see but it's got a lot of hard pan um, so I might have to scrape the top of this, but hopefully I'll put on the screen what it will look like last update and what it looks like this update. Hopefully it looks different. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, looking at it here, I don't think it does, but this is quite, this is quite hard pressed. Um, you don't get any powder that comes off it or anything, so this is going to be in for a while. And like I said, I might have to scrape the, um, the top off this if... I don't feel like it's performing that well. This is a really, really nice palette, but I am just focusing on the bronzer. So I've only used it four times for a total of four uses, so I'm not sure how different it is gonna look. But yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna have to take that hard pan off because um, it's a pretty bronzer, but I do think it could give me a little bit more pigment if I did remove that hard pan. Hopefully it doesn't keep getting hard pan when I do it. I might try the tape trick first, to see if that'll remove the top layer and if not I might just have to scrape it which I'd prefer not to do but if I have to I have to okay so what I'm going to go and do really quick is I'm going to go and get the product I'm going to bring in and I will be right back okay I'm back so the product I'm going to bring in is the Revolution Pro 4k highlighter palette so you would have seen this in my beauty to Z. I have rolled it out now because I did hit my goal on that one I'm going to bring in one highlighter from this palette, there is four, and the one I'm going to bring in is this one. I've got so much pan on this, so my goal is to bring this in to finish it. I think once I've finished it, I might just get rid of this palette because this is really the only shade I can use like all over my face. This one is just a bit too gold for my liking. I've been using it as an inner corner highlight when I had it in my beauty to Z, but that will take me forever. <laughs> Um, to finish it as that so I do think I may potentially get rid of this palette once I've hit my goal like once I finish this highlight I'm not sure I've been thinking do I put these in a body lotion I'm just not sure how that will look I'm not sure let me know below if you've done that and how successful it was for you and um, but yeah so I'm going to bring this one in to finish this is a really beautiful highlighter. It is quite intense. You don't need a lot of it, but it really is in your face, um, which I don't always like highlighters like this. Sometimes I do like ones that are just a bit more natural. But yeah, I'm gonna bring this one in to finish. I think 
with the amount of progress I made on this just by using this 15 times, I don't think it's going to be in that long. Um, I might eat my word saying that. I do think it's still going to be quite a few months, but I just don't think it's going to be as long as I think I initially thought when I brought this into the other project. Okay, so that is my update. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm hoping to be able to get a bit more progress than I did last month on these products for next month. Um, I'm feeling a lot better in myself as well. There was there was a point last month that I just you know didn't even want to film videos because it was just so crazy and just a challenging month for me last month. But May is a new month, so April is in the past and hopefully I can get some more use on all of my products in my projects. So I hope you enjoyed this. I've been really, really rambly today. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and it means the absolute world to me if you could subscribe. If you don't already, and until my next video, thank you for coming by. See you later.